Hi, welcome to Yoga Space Online. This class focuses on spinal mobility and being able to have a nice flexible mobile spine is really important for our back health, especially as we grow older. So we're going to come to all fours. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders and your knees underneath your hips. Spread your fingers out nice and wide and you can always turn the hands out a little bit if that feels better for your shoulders. And first of all, just let your head sink, let your shoulders sag. And just take a few breaths in through the nose. And a big sighing breath out through your mouth. Let your elbows bend slightly. And just turn your head a little bit as you're breathing in. And sigh out through your mouth. Start to pull your arm bones back, start to lift your tailbone from your waist a little bit. Press into the bases of your fingers, take your chest forwards and gently start to lift your head. And then as you exhale, start to turn your tailbone under, round your spine, bringing your nose towards your navel center, really drawing the front body up in the center there. Press your toes into the floor. And again, inhaling, breathing through your nose, start to lift your chest and lift the tailbone, pulling the arm bones back. And just have a little micro bend in the elbows there. Just feel that different shape in the spine. Make sure you don't go into your lumbar spine too much, there shouldn't be any pinching there. And then exhale, press the floor away, squeeze in the arms and the legs and round the spine. And again, inhaling. Coming into your cow pose, lifting the chest, lifting the tailbone. Now this time, keep that lift, shift everything a little bit over to the left and then start to go back and down on the left side like you're coming into extended child's pose, but you're coming into it on that left side. So let everything get heavier on the left and just rest your head onto that left arm and sink in there. And take a breath in. And take a breath out. And coming back to centre, exhale. And then this time coming up, rounding the spine. So start to really pull your chin in towards your chest. Start to lift the hips up and then start to draw the tailbone under and slowly coming up, getting that round shape as much as possible, coming all the way up and then hold that position, breathe in. And this time as you breathe out, start to release, release the belly, lifting the hips, chest forward, shoulders back. Shoulder blades move towards each other, inhaling, coming into your cow. And this time we'll go to the right. So shift everything over to the right side. And then exhale, slowly take your weight back and down into that extended child's pose, but with more weight over to the right side. Rest your head on your right arm. Breathing in here and breathing out. 
and then shifting back to center. Let the hips get nice and heavy. Take a nice big inhale. And exhale. And you might find that your breath is getting a bit deeper now, a bit freer. And then as you inhale, coming up, really slow, super slow into that cat pose. Squeeze. And then exhale. Start to release out of that, lifting the tailbone, lifting the chest, and gently lifting the head. Breathing in, and then this time breathing out. Take your hips back towards your heels. And now just turn your palms up towards the sky. Take a couple of breaths here. Just noticing and feeling hips nice and heavy. And then inhale, coming forwards. Exhale, just come to a neutral position between the two. So we do the same thing, but now we're going to focus on the cat pose. So take a breath in. And as you exhale, start to round your spine, coming into that cat pose. Really moving that mid back up and moving the shoulder blades away from each other. And then as you exhale, shift everything over to the right, but hold that position. And now take your hips back and back and back. Keep rounding. Keep as rounded as you can as you go back. Hold that position. You might not, you might find the hips don't come as far down. Take a breath in. And then exhale, set, settling in the center. And this time we come up into our cow. So inhale, start to lift your chest, lift your tailbone, calming up. And then exhale, rounding your spine, drawing the front body in strong. Inhale here. Exhale, shift everything over to the left. Keep that rounded shape. And then taking it back and down on that left side. Keep rounded. Maybe the hips hover here a bit more. Breathe in. Breathe out, settling back and sinking down. And then inhale, coming forwards again. And then just do a little wriggle here. Try and move in a bit more of a free flow. So maybe one hip comes in and then the other shoulder goes forwards. Head goes to that side. And just do that from side to side. See how much movement you can find. And see if you can bring your shoulder towards your hip side to side and release a lot of energy when we're doing spinal work and coming to center tuck your toes now into the floor and go up and back into your downward facing dog and then just start to Walk out the legs in your downward dog. And just notice how that feels. Maybe just keeping those knees a little bit soft. If the hamstrings feel very tight. And then bend your knees 
so that the rib cage comes towards the thighs and lift your tailbone and lift your chest so it's like you're doing your cow pose now but in your downward facing dog do that on the inhalation and then as you exhale start to pull the tailbone in bring your nose towards your navel and then come forwards into your high plank and then bend the knees he knees hovering off the floor inhale coming into your cow lift your chest lift your tailbone keep that exhale tailbone lifts downward facing dog take a breath in here and a breath out And then this time, start that cat pose in your downward facing dog. So pull the tailbone and the nose towards each other. And then keep that as you come into your plank. So head's going to stay pulling in. Breathe in. And then breathe out again. Take your cow. Exhale, keep that cow position and come into your downward facing. And then just turn your heels a little bit one way, send the hips over that side and then go the other way and send the hips over that side. And come back to downward dog. And now walk your hands back towards your feet. So have your feet a little bit wider than the hips here and bend your knees a lot. Get those knees nice and bent. Now interlace your fingers and pull the elbows towards each other as you bring your chin towards your chest. So really rounding in here. Breathing in and breathing out and just see how that feels in your spine and maybe you need to bend the knees a lot here. Releasing the hands down, walk your hands forwards and just come onto your fingertips. You might want to put your hands on blocks and now lift your sit bones. So lift, imagine that you're doing that dog tilt, so tailbone lifting again. Take the chest forwards, shoulder blades towards each other and lift the chest and then exhale round in again. And again, take your hands to the back of the head and pull in. And then hands forwards and lift. Lift the tailbone, lift the chest. And now bend that right knee, move your left hip back and bring your rib cage towards your right thigh bone. Inhale, come back to that lifted chest, lifted hips. Bend your left knee and now bring your left rib cage towards that left thigh bone. Inhale, back to center. Extend the heart forwards. Exhale, round inwards. And take your feet wide and come down into your malasana. Pressing your legs to your arms and your arms to your legs here. And come down to a seated position. 
coming into a nice open cross legged position. And if you're a bit more flexible in your hips, you can stack one leg on top of the other. So just see how that feels. Bring your hands onto your thighs. And then we'll do some cat cows in this seated position. So we round the spine as we exhale. And then inhale, pulling on the legs. Lifting the chest, draw the shoulders down, lift the chin slightly. And again, exhale. Move your weight more back to the back edge of the buttocks, rerounding. And then you inhale and opening. See if you can feel that movement in your upper back and exhale. Round. Round a little bit more. And then as you inhale, coming up. And like we did when we were kneeling on all fours, we do the same thing now. So breathe in, lift your chest. And then as you breathe out, move everything over to the left side, pressing forwards. And then keep that as you move back on that left side, inhale. And then exhale, rounding in the center. Inhale, come forward. And now move everything to the right side. So use that other hand to press the thigh away. Move backwards and then round. And then coming forwards. So this time, exhale, rounding. And now shift everything over to the right, keeping that rounded position. Inhale, come forwards on the right side and open. Exhale through center and round the spine again. And now move everything over to the left side and inhale, come forwards on that left side and back to center. So changing the cross of the legs now. This time, take your right hand down at the side of the hip and inhaling, start to lift that left arm up. And then as you exhale, press down into your left hip as you go sideways, breathing in and breathing out here. And then bring that left arm down, touching the hand to the thigh. And inhale, take the right hand behind you now and coming into a twist to the right. And you can use that left hand if you like on that right thigh to press it a little bit more down. So see if you can really bring that right shoulder blade in towards the left shoulder blade and notice your breath and then coming back to center so other side take your left hand down lean into the left hand move the ribcage to the right inhaling And then exhaling, taking the arm over, 
Connect to the hand, left hand behind you, and then opening in again, maybe pressing that left thigh bone down as you twist to the left. Breathing in and breathing out here. And then coming back to center. Bring your feet now into parallel position. Just bringing your hands onto the backs of the thighs. Keep your feet firmly grounded. So as you inhale, lifting and opening, draw the shoulders down. And then as you exhale, start to really round your spine, curling your back. And then inhale again, lifting and open. And exhaling, rounding. And inhaling, lifting and opening. And exhaling. Now hold that rounded position and try and take your right hand, press it to the outside of your left thigh with your left hand on top. And then coming up on that left side, so inhale, coming up, coming up, coming up, reaching, and then bring it back to center, exhale, coming down in the center. Keep the feet grounded. Take your hands over to the other side now and inhale, reaching, 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 and then coming back, exhale. Inhale, coming up in the center. And then this time going all the way down to try and pull the spine down, vertebrae by vertebrae, all the way down and then bring your knees in and hugging your knees in towards your chest. Bring the feet down to the floor and now just take your hands just to the back of your head, take your elbows nice and wide Draw your belly down towards the spine. And then as you inhale, bring the elbows towards each other. Exhale, bring your chin towards your chest. Take a big inhale. And then exhale, slowly lower the head towards the floor. Open the elbows wide. If your shoulders are tighter, just loosen the interlace of the fingers. You can always just have your hands at the side of the head. Breathing in, lifting the elbows, squeezing them in. And then exhale, chin to chest, pull the belly down and see if you can come up a little bit higher now. Breathing in. And then breathing out, bringing your head down, arms down, and release your hands from the head. Bring your hands by the hips now, feet parallel. So press down into your feet, especially into the heels, the inner heels. And think about lifting from your inner thighs. So lifting up the vertebrae from the bottom to the top, just as far as you can. Make sure there's no pinching in the lower spine. Breathe, you can interlace the fingers if you wish. Keep moving your knees forwards. And again, think about lifting from those inner thighs. 
breathing in and then breathing out from the top of the spine so really try and control it lowering super slowly the body back down to the floor with as much awareness as possible and just take a little pause there when you get there breathing in and saying out and bring both feet and your hips over to the right side cross your right leg over your left and then just let those knees come over to the side and take your arm out to the right maybe bending it if you haven't got much space so it'd be quite useful here to just press the elbows into the floor and move that left shoulder blade more across to the left so that then that right shoulder can spread out a little bit more to the right and really let the weight of the legs sink and get heavy let the back of the pelvis soften and get heavy and just focusing your breath in and out through the nose feel the ribs expanding as you inhale and softening as you exhale Feel that gentle rise and fall of your breath. Let the legs sink, let the weight sink into the shoulder and the arm. And on your next inhale, start to gently bring the legs back up, arm across the legs. Shift your pelvis over to the other side now. Cross your left leg over your right leg. And then slowly bring the legs over to the right side. And again, maybe just do that adjustment of bringing the right shoulder across to the right so that you can then spread and drop into that left shoulder. Focus on the movement of the breath in the rib cage, that expansion and that softening away. Gently coming back to centre and coming into your relaxation. So just let your arms release and soften and your legs. Let your mouth gently open to relax your jaw. Scanning the body and just noticing how different it feels now. So seeing if we can connect to our spine and move with the breath in this way, we can really tune into the present moment and what's going on for us. Maybe releasing not just tension but also 
and then the motion and so that might be be matching a very stuck pattern of being with something or holding on to something so it don't serve us. Notice that feeling of lightness and spaciousness feeling freer and more open more relaxed more at ease Do stay in your relaxation for longer. I hope you enjoyed that. It's a really great practice to do. If you can do a little bit of spinal work every day, it will really make a difference to how you are in your body and just to your energy levels. See you soon. Namaste.